Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with my top 10 Minecraft mods for 1.19.2, this time for October of 2022. And as always, you'll be able to find all of these mods in the description below. And if there's any others that don't appear on this list that you want me to check out, let me know and I'll be sure to take a look at them. And anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, the first mod I have for you guys today is Better Animations Collection. And this mod adds various animations to many of the creatures in your game. And it's been around for quite some time. In fact, it's one of the oldest mods that I personally can remember that does this. And still to this day, it's one of the better ones. You'll notice things like spiders having bent legs, squid and gas tentacles bending as they move around, and many other animations that just make the visuals a little bit better. Next, we have the effective mod, which adds some pretty nice water-based effects to the game. And currently, this covers splashes and waterfalls. And for waterfalls, this adds a various splash effects to them, making them look a whole lot nicer. And plus, they also have an audible sound. Splashes, on the other hand, now have an awesome new visual effect that occurs whenever you jump in the water, throw throw things in the water or other creatures jump in the water. And this effect changes in size depending on the size of the object and how far it falls. So if something large falls in the water from very high, it's gonna make a pretty big splash. Next up, we have Fantasy's Furniture. And this is a really awesome furniture mod because all of the furniture it adds to the game is fantasy themed. And something most other furniture mods do, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, is add furniture to the game that's kind of modern themed. For me personally though, I'd rather have furniture added to the game that fits the theme of Minecraft just a bit better. And Fantasy's furniture does just that. And there's a pretty huge variety of furniture added from this mod, so really, you should be able to find something that you like. Up next, we have a Flex FOV, and this mod certainly lives up to its name. Once installed, you can set your FOV to essentially anything you want, all the way up to 360, so you can quite literally see all the way around yourself. Is this disorienting? Absolutely. But it's a lot of fun to play with. And who knows, maybe some people are actually capable of playing with this. And there's several other FOV FOV settings that you can mess around with, and honestly, each one pretty much just gets crazier than the last, but they are pretty fun to experiment with. For our next mod, we have Burn in the Sun, and in the past, I've shown you the mob sunscreen mod, which makes it so creatures that normally burn in the sun no longer will. This mod, however, has the complete opposite effect. If you are in the sun, you're gonna start burning, and you can customize this so pretty much any mod you want will burn from the sun. So if you'd like it to be just you, it can be like that. But if you want everything to burn once it sees the light, you can have it that way. Coming up next, we have Mythic Upgrades, and this mod adds some ores underneath various different biomes in the game, which you can use used to further upgrade netherite armor, and each of these ores provide their own appearance along with special attributes that'll make your armor, tools, or weapons even better. Overall, it's a pretty fun way to make your late game armor, I guess, a little bit more late game. Next, we have the Nameless Trinkets mod, and this mod adds many new items throughout your world to discover, which have unique abilities. And you'll find many of these are going to be very useful for particular situations, and a few of them even come with some drawbacks. And I always enjoy mods like this because they actually encourage exploring by giving you loot that you will truly care about. Merriam's Soulsborne Weaponry is the next mod on this list, and right away, I'll recommend using it with better combat. And this mod is a big one. It adds many new awesome weapons to the game, along with some really cool boss fights and new creatures. And many of these new weapons have some unique abilities, and you'll actually probably recognize a fair amount of them from other games, and they quite possibly will have the same functionality that you would expect from that particular weapon. It is tons of fun to play with, again, especially with a better combat mod. I mean, they're meant to be compatible with each other. And overall, if you're playing on fabric, I would absolutely give this mod a try. Approaching the end, we have the Small Ships mod. And this is one of the cooler mods that adds some new boats to the game, as not only are they much larger than Minecraft boats, but there's a lot more variety included. And the newer versions even allow you to put cannons on some of your boats. So, you know, it's pretty cool. And finally, the last mod I'll be showing you today is one of the absolute OG mods for Minecraft, and this is Twilight Forest. This mod still to this day continues to be updated to the newest versions of the game, which I truly appreciate, and even after all this time, it's still one of the best dimension mods available. It adds multiple interesting new biomes to explore, which have its own unique progression system, so you have to go to one in order to unlock the next, and there's also some really cool boss fights along with many, many new creatures to come across. There's a reason this mod has been so popular for so long, it just really is that good. And that'll do it for this video, and once again, you can find all of these mods in the description below, so if you'd like to check them out, be sure to find them there. And let me know what you thought about the mods I showed you today, and if there's any mods you'd like me to check out, let me know, and as usual, I will take a look at them. And anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.